Thank you very Thank much you. for taking your time. I have to start with the new album, the Siren Charming. And uh, I just wanted to know, since it's very much, pretty much anticipated, uh, how is it? Yeah. yeah, how do you feel about it? Great, obviously. Great. Otherwise, I have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta be pleased. Well, you don't have to, but you should be pleased with what you do. And uh, I would never leave the studio feeling, you know, 80% happy. Every time you release an album, you feel it's the best you could do at that time. And then it's, for, for me, every album has a, um, it's a reflection of who I am at that point in my life. And then it's obviously another feeling for, for, for you or for her behind the camera or <laughs> someone else. I mean, you then you can say it's the better this better and that is better, I like the old, I like the new, I like the ones in the middle, you know, ask me again in 30 years when I look back at my career and I can say this is this is better than the other, but they are, you know, equally important uh, if it wouldn't be for, you know, Just Race or Clayman or, you know, Sense of Purpose or whatever album, we wouldn't be where we are today, so, you yeah, know, it's a, it's a continuum, it's an evolution. Yeah. And uh, how did the recording process go? As I've been checking through some information, I heard it took kind of less than how it took for the last album. Yeah, but that was totally on purpose. We set ourselves in a, in, a, in a position that we, we have to make, have this done in six weeks. You know? mm. uh, we sold our studio in Gothenburg. Which the Eve Studios, right? Yeah, yeah, where we recorded some of the previous albums. And uh, when we were looking into other places, because we decided that we wanted to record in, in a real studio somewhere instead of you know, building a studio in a house. We've done that as well for some of the albums. And then I was in Berlin early last year and went to Hansa studio as a visitor. And uh, I was like, this is a magical place and uh, because I'm a musical nerd. and. Uh, <laughs> And I like the history. I, I love some of the music that's been created there. You know, it's uh, it has has a long, long history. It's, and for my own ego, my own pleasure, I want to be part of that history. I, you know, it's before this career ends, or whatever. It would be kind of cool to record at that place, and hopefully, you draw some some inspiration. I said, okay, I'm not going to bring anything with me. I'm going to go to super lean, totally blank and create everything there. We had some riffs, we had some structures, we had part of songs, but pretty much everything happened. Almost all my parts, all the melodies, all that stuff happened there. And uh, that was intentional. What happens to me as a person, as a songwriter, when I'm under pressure? Uh, I, can imagine I hate, hated myself for that idea <laughs> when I was in Berlin towards the very end and I was super uh, not, not stressed but you know you you you, you just that, that feeling of time just flying away and you you don't want to repeat yourself you don't want to do the same thing again and again because it's very easy to fall fall, fall into a certain for, formula and, and you, you know okay I'm used to this then I can do this in my sleep Yes, you know, mm -hmm. the inflames one A structure. Do that <laughs> again, and just to come up with new new ideas and new uh, new feelings and new uh, new voices or whatever, you know. Trying to you know create a nice pictures with nice colors. For me, it's 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 just you, you have a great song and all of a sudden there's a bass solo from nowhere. It, that that's just weird, you know. Or all of a sudden I'm starting singing in a weird you know Swedish. going some yeah, but like a Swedish chant or something just because I want to, you know. It, yeah. it everything has to be connected and sure. and and I think about all these things all the time. Uh, and I want to paint 
our songs make them justice with the voice that they deserve but at the same time I don't want to do the same thing again and again and again and again and the songwriting process yeah as I recall from the previous album it was Bjorn mainly writing the songs well, it, it depends on what you mean write the songs yeah he writes well, I don't know uh, he writes he writes guitar parts mm -hmm. you know I mean before it was Jesper Bjorn and me who did things mm -hmm. uh, together but it was th then it was more I do my part, you guys you do your part, and you do the report. And we were like striving a bit to to make everything, everybody happy in a way. You know? With that being said, it, it that probably created some magic as well, like that, that worked together. That's why Flames sounded like we did. Uh, but now both, I guess both me and Bjorn are more open-minded to each other's ideas, and we listen better, <laughs> you know, instead of kind of defending our ideas, you know. Mm -hmm. Before the album I went down to Gothenburg to his house for, for two two days and listening to the ideas and we talked it over and he, you know, either he had one song, you know, verse, chorus, verse, and here's the solo, he said, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> and then I have to think for myself what it means and then, you know, he doesn't really tie the whole thing together, but then we took all these parts because he had like great parts but they were not whole. Then we went to to Hans and wrote the whole thing, put it together to, so that it makes sense for the first two weeks. Which probably were pretty frustrating for the rest of the guys because Daniel were like, where's my song? I gotta <laughs> drum it. <you know? laughs> Context uh -huh. as well, uh, because in the previous albums as well, you normally have a theme. Mm -hmm. I think at least yeah, yeah, that yeah. you go around in yeah. the songs, yeah, which yeah. is very nice to follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some keywords. Yeah. And uh, do you have a theme for this album? I definitely. Well? Yeah, I, I do. Um, you know, since I, as I mentioned, I didn't have anything, when I, and to further put me under pressure and trying to become more depressed than away from being the father I am at home and playing soccer with my son <laughs> um, then because uh, that wouldn't create such a good lyric you wouldn't be like and he scored and his son did this and there's a chorus that wouldn't be you know interesting so so I was watching a lot of documentaries about like you know mental illness and uh, drug uh, abuse and all these really or I'm interested in what happens to us as humans, how, how we are affected and how we are drawn towards something like that and how hard it is to get away, how it affects people around us, the family, what it does in a society, all that stuff. So I draw a lot of inspiration from that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the main, main theme and, and that's the, you know, the title Siren Charms that um, she, the siren, symbolize that you know uh, that uh, affection and that the thing that can lure you lure your way to, to to deep depths if you're not taking care of, of yourself or, or you know it it's easy to fall in certain traps okay, so uh, it's more individual feelings and it is oh yeah definitely definitely but and, and all the songs you know all the songs are about uh, you know hope uh, desperation, devastation, sadness, not that much happiness, uh, love and hate. And, you, know, that, yeah. you have touring plans as well, I suppose, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Starting as of the album release? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right now it's great. We, just, we have a first free summer in 15 years, which is awesome. <laughs> Was it on purpose that you released the album at the end of the Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah exactly. I think we we all needed this this break, you know. I, mm. I, yeah, in 15 years I haven't had a real vacation. Yeah. Yeah. May I uh, come with a question that relates to this? Sure. What kept you doing this for 15 years without a break? Then, what was your drive? Love and passion, you know. Love what I do. You know, it's it's music is awesome. I love working with people. Yeah. I, you know, I 
I like seeing, for the most part, happy faces, people, and as much as I hopefully affect others with my with the music that we do, I get a lot of rewards back from fans that I meet, and you know, it's 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 great. You know, if it's if it wouldn't be for for the fans, then why? I mean, it's I wouldn't. You know, it's uh, it's it's fun to make music on your own. I got my own beer brand, so I do that. And, well, I you brew it yourself? I go, yeah, I go to different breweries and brew it. Do test batches, come up with recipes. Is it sold in the system? Some of it, then, right now we are trying to make uh, more casks and send straight over straight, straight, straight to the pubs instead of making bottles. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, 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 it's faster and you cannot get more. You know, it's a, uh, I, I get. Uh, to make more beer and get, you know, so quicker and then get it back and do another batch instead of sitting on a bunch of uh, bottles. Sure, what's it called? Frequency. Yeah. We've done, we've done stouts and we've done lagers, we've done pale ale, we've done uh, all kinds of different beers. Right now I have in tanks, I have one really nice, uh, uh, can't really say exactly what it is, but it's a type of pale ale, and okay. then I've done a lot. Right? Yeah, but I have some, some weird stuff in there that I don't want to give <laughs> out, because then someone else will do it before I do it. But it's, 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 uh, it's great, and then I have a, yeah, I have a, I want to do a lager, which is a, it's somewhat, ex a little bit extra hoppy, so I'm going to do dry hop that one. And that's, sm smells and tastes really good and promising right now, and we'll dry hop it and see what happens. But I have some more, more recipes that I'm going to do, do next week or the week after. I have a test, a, a brew station back home that I can work on. Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Would you dare to brew whiskey? Brew whiskey? But it takes... Distill. Distill whiskey. But the thing is, with, yeah, I, I love things. I, I love whiskey. I've been to Scotland many, many times, got all these distilleries. But it takes such a long time. It has to lie on a cask for three years before you actually can call it even whiskey, you know. And to wait that long, and then it's not even par with the good ones because you probably have to have it a little bit long or way longer. And so it's, it's the nerdy part of me would do that because. That could be fun, but at the same time, that's not a something I want to bet my all my money on. Mm -hmm. 